Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Far Cry Primal. I'm trying a new thing of using my hotkeys to uh, start a stream so I don't actually need to like so I don't have to open task manager because otherwise that's the only way for me to record this game. Same deal with um, New Vegas. Which is one thing that's legitimately standing in my way, so I decided I'd try it out with this since I don't feel like I'm going to do too much. But I can see that it's recording. Um, I have it windowed so I can see that my audio looks good, the recording light is on, and it has a time. So yeah. Um, thanks to that hotkey though, my wife accidentally recorded like a two hour long video of just... Oh hey guys. Oh, you're friends. Okay, cool. Like a two-hour long video of her just playing some visual novel that I got on the PC for her. I mentioned last time that I often don't, uh... Ooh, monkey. Let's head here, actually. I often have to get uh, PC-only games on this uh, machine for her, since she's a Mac user on account of her being a student. She got it at a particularly steep stale sale, pardon, thanks to her residency at uh, a college. Uh, and it's fine. Um, it does all of her schoolwork and it runs Darkest Dungeon, which is all she really wants out of it, so. Though we might upgrade it at some point. Who knows? I was going to say, I'm sure you don't come to these videos for anecdotes about my household life, but I don't really know why you come. This may have happened last time, but I actually uh, started to enjoy a little success on the channel because uh, Marathon is proven to be pretty popular. Oh, look at his little tail. Nom nom. So it looks like we got into it. Violence. These fucking hawks, man. They're just stressing me out. They were stressing me out at the end of last episode, and they're doing so at the start of this one. Come on, guys. That's the attack noise. Stay in the trees. It's in the clouds. It can't get me. Ooh. Rare south stone. Now, luckily, there will be no giant animals up at the top of this thing. <sighs> Sometimes I say things like that to jinx the universe into thinking there's no way it could possibly actually be up there. Does this not go up any further? Damn. Damn. Do you know anyone who actually says the N that's supposed to be at the end of the expletive dam? Like, damn. It's like Obamina. It's, it's not, doesn't need to be in there. I honestly think it's really only there to differentiate it from dam, as in the home of beavers, or the thing that stops a river. Big bonk on the noggin for you. Just don't start nothing, ain't gonna be nothing. Listen to me, Baihu. It's not a problem. Don't make it one. So I don't have like a spare 3,000 hours, so I haven't watched Critical Role. But I learned recently that Matt Mercer apparently has like a big, like... Like he's very affectionate towards the word sigil. But he also didn't pronounce it correctly. And that just amuses me so much. I love incompetence and in DMing at all levels. Which isn't to say that Matt Mercer is incompetent. But like, everybody makes mistakes. And or has those days, in fact. Alright, next, we'll run into here. Uh, yep. 
Oh, also, if you're seeing this video and it's called like episode 13 when it should be 14 or 12 when it should be 13 or something like that. Uh, the reason for that is because of the new method I'm using to record it, which is to say hot king. Oh, man. Did they stop to mourn? Is that why they I got two of them? Four sons of bitches. Oh, video game sliding is so satisfying, man. There's this, um, I've, I've mentioned it briefly, but Crisis was the benchmark for, like, video games looking good on the PC for, for a while, especially Crisis 2. So, like, if your, if your PC can run Doom, or if your machine, no matter what it is, whether it's, like, a bank, uh, ATM or like a home pregnancy test if it can run doom then it has the bare minimum of being computational or possibly Tetris though sadly I don't think doom is ever gonna oh shit get near Tetris in terms of copies sold because of how much uh, how much doom was given away for free Like, Doom has been pirated way more than Tetris, and it's been given away for free way more than Tetris because it was often, uh, it was shareware. Right, let's go here next. But yeah, if something can run Tetris or Doom, it's the bare minimum to be counted as a computer. Pardon me, sir. Bro, don't make it a problem. Get in the water. They're too heavy to swim. Yeah. Now, if only I had, like, a lily pad to stand on, I'd be invincible. Rock dust. Good. Good. Fuck with me, man. Anyway, got off topic there. Sorry about that. But if something can run Doom, then it's at the bare minimum to be a computer. And if something can run Crisis, then it's considered to be high-end, even though Crisis is a 10-year-old game now. Crisis 2, specifically. Crisis 1 is like 15 years, almost coming up at least um i've mentioned crisis here and there because of its close relationship with far cry originally they were made by the same company but then and they were basically the same game where you were a guy on an island and people of a different culture were there and you killed them bad people usually uh in crisis they're like you know evil north korean soldiers i think Even though soldiers aren't necessarily evil, they're just following orders and they've been conned by people who actually want, like, the world to fall into chaos. And of course, just following orders is not a good excuse. But in Crisis, uh, similarly, there's a awesome, there's a fantastic slide move. And there's this one time in uh, Far Cry, nope, Crisis 2, where you have this fantastic slide. Like, uh, this thing has been toppled over. And so you slide for like a full, like, 30 seconds. Just downhill the whole way on this on this rainy bit of sidewalk that's been toppled into the, ca into the ancient chaos underneath New York City that, you know, is obviously there. Two down.
Another one. Oh boy. Guess we're getting started in here. I love, I love that we can get royalty free pot break sound when I hit them in the face. I love the idea of helmets made of clay. Next. Come on, bring the next one on. They're punching up outside. Perfect. Eat some meat, eat some meat, come on to car. I wonder if wearing like a clay pot on your face would actually protect you from the heavy stone being slung at it. Apparently my little um... Oh boy, you're just gonna miss make problems for me, huh? Nice, nice, nice. Keep it going. Next. God. Just beating him like Donkey Kong over here. Oh, that was clean. That was really clean. Hell yeah. Simple and clean. Oh, that was it? I really like Punch Out. It's really hard, but I really like it. It's another game that Nintendo just won't make sequels for, no matter how hard I cry. Go back to using one of these, huh? Because yeah, Punch Out had an original game in the arcade. Where you just punch guys and you were a little little wireframe little Mac. That's what his um That's what his alt costume in Smash Brothers comes from, by the way. Little wireframe little Mac. <gasps> Badgers I guess we'll go here. Don't worry, I'll take care of those badgers. Those deadly, dangerous badgers. Are badgers that scary? I know they're wild animals and stuff, but I feel like I could take on a badger. Like, they're not like a wolverine. Though, maybe most of my infer like information and inference about badgers comes from badger, badger, mushroom, mushroom. Now that's an old video, too.
Get out of here, man. Finally got free, huh? Is your bloodlust satiated? Because based on the sound, I think you killed that guy. He's your sister's bonfire. It's very hard. <gasps> yes. Now all we need is cave bear skin. And that. We've got two of these. Let's grab wool cooldown. Yes, I say wool like I say owl like wool because of Winnie the Pooh. But yeah, originally there was an arcade punch out, and then only a couple of years later there was a NES punch out made for the home console, and then there was a nearly identical one made for the SNES that just has different characters, and then the one on the NES basically got a Wii remake. Let's let's just ignore stealth. Let's just see how possible it is when we don't even try to be stealthy. Like the closest we got to a real like punch out for the Wii or the the Wii U rather or the Switch even though it would be great is a uh, like a mode in Wonderful 101 which is a great game but almost no one bought it and almost no one played it you know it's it's a for those who don't know uh, Wonderful 101 is made by Platinum a company that is notorious for having awesome games that sell like shit. To the point where an awesome game that just doesn't sell well, even though it's great, is called the Platinum Curse. And Clover is made out of the uh, discarded remnants of... Nope, sorry. Platinum is made out of the discarded remnants of Clover. Which is an old Capcom, like, sub... Uh nice. Old Capcom, like, subgroup. Clover Studios. They made Okami and God Hand and Beautiful Joe. All of which are fucking awesome. Nobody bought them and played them. Like, Christ, even I haven't played Beautiful Joe 2. I've seen Beautiful Joe 1. I haven't beaten it the whole way. I've beaten God Hand more than once. I played Okami. I haven't beaten it. Although that's just because of Okami. Um, I'm not very good at finishing Zelda-like games. Like, I've actually already started Breath of the Wild, but I haven't beaten it yet. Even though I've had it for like a month. Don't at me, Aaron. I know. I love moving across this map and clearing things. Like, look, this red is now more pushed in because I've I've pushed the Wenja influence. I'm pushing the Wenja for Super Slam. And then I think there's a Wii um, or a Switch minigame that <coughs> allows you to box. And Wii boxing is kind of like Punch-Out, but not at all. And, like, there's something about Punch-Out that's just so fun. Maybe it's the obnoxious, like, stereotypes. Like, there's a big Russian guy called Vodka Drunchkinsky. There's a giant fat Canadian dude called Bear Hugger. Um, 
Yeah, sure, let's do this. Like, just obnoxiously stereotypical dudes. And, like, that's fun. You know, it's cartoony, it's silly. Maybe it's a little offensive, but, like... Like, there's a big American guy, and he's just this big soul cow, like, asshole. Like, he's spray tanned. He's, like... He definitely uses steroids. Like, they don't say it. They definitely use steroids, though. Like, constantly just, like, bronzing his already golden body. Just silly AF. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, shit. Wrong place, guys. Pardon me. Get a few sting dang dongs in there. Oh, wow. They're all on this mound. That's cool. I love a good mound. I feel like I've definitely brought this up before, but I live in, um, well, I did live in Missouri for a long time, uh, and in Missouri, nowhere near my home, but, you know, it's fine if you want to take, like, a very long bus ride there, like, you know, for a school trip, like I did, but we have, uh, a place called Cahokia, which is, uh, all moundy. Just nothing but mounds over there. Just giant burial mounds. And, like, I love that. I love a good, like, just a big-ass pyramid. Anyway, I got distracted. Tech to talking about fucking Punch-Out. Um, but Punch-Out is also a very interesting game in terms of its genre. Because it feels like a fighting game, right? You're You're sitting in a ring, or standing in a ring... You've got boxing gloves. You punch people. The other person punches you back. One would think that it would be... Fine, guess we'll go this way. One would think that it would be like an action game or a fighting game. You know, like there's a Hajime no Ippo fighting game. Because of course there is, you know? It's about box. It's a, a Jima no Ippo's a manga about boxing. Uh, and an anime. I enjoyed it greatly. Thank you. So, you know, of course there's a uh, a game about boxing, but, like, as, as, like, a fighting game or an action game or something like that. The thing about Punch-Out is that Punch-Out isn't really a typical example of a fighting game. And it it's almost more like a puzzle game. But it's one that has to be played with very specific timing, almost like a rhythm game. This is this is how I view Punch Out, by the way. I don't think Punch Out is as easy to describe as you would imagine. Like, it's kind of an action game, and it's kind of a fighting game that you play alone. Ah, oh, whoops. Missed the chance to do a takedown chain. And, like, I hate that because I really love doing takedown chains. That's the best. Wait, hold on. There's a guy around here. There you are. Thank you. I'll bonk you once, and if you run away, that's fine. 
Oh my god, there's so much shit around here. Ah, oh crap, I shouldn't run away, huh? Oh, here we go. Perfect. Guys, come on. I think I might know what happened to these Wenja. And we're good. Alright, yeah, so Punch Out. It's like a hybrid rhythm game, action game. Because, like, it's, it's the timing. But it's not just that it's... You know, that there is timing, because... But it's so specific to the game, and, like, that's really cool. Wow! You can, like, charge it up and really get going. That's awesome. Badass. Well, there's one of them. Pardon me. Yeah, like, if this game turned into a first-person punch-out, I would be very pleased with that, I think. Actually, there's a game I've been meaning to play, but it's not out yet in its proper form. Which is a big reason as to why I have not played it. But it's a game called Fight Night, right? And that's night with a K is in the dude in armor with a sword. Uh, and like all you have is the ability to just punch. That's all. That's all you do. I'm sorry for blowing out the mic, but yeah, all you do is just do big punch. And you just annihilate skeleton warriors and all manner of other mythological creatures and beasts and things. What's up, man? Oop, side boob. Actually, that might just be boob. I don't even think that's side boob. Yeah, it is a tomb, in fact. I just taking a rest? Okay, cool. As long as you're okay, I'm happy. Oh, that'll be useful. Hi. But yeah, like, um, first person RPGs sometimes have problems. I was recently, um, relative to our time frame, the Dark Souls or Demon Souls remaster recently came out. And so, me and my wife uh, have not been able to get our hands on a PlayStation 5 yet. So, we've been stuck uh, watching Wooly Versus. Is the guy's name is Wooly Versus. It's the LP belonging to him, the Possessive S, Wooly Versus's LP of it. And that's a fantastic LP. Oh boy. Oh, well, there goes one. Okay. Wow. 
Probably because I ran in there like a dumbass. But for reference, I went back and showed her some of Kingsfield, the RPG that From Software, as well as Miyazaki, worked on before um, Dark Souls. And like, having... In, in Kingsfield, you have a very slow, you know, character, much like in Dark Souls. It just does not work as well. It's so sluggish and boring. Like, I, I can barely watch that game. I can't imagine what it's like to play. Okay, so they're all there. So let's try this. Nope, nope, nope. Oh my god, they're all coming over here, huh? Buzz bomb. Wow, that was way too far of a throw. You gotta go, man. All right. Perfect. Much better. Let's loot this place. Oh, I didn't know you need to be untied. Let me get that for you, sir. Ooh, big pit. All right. Where to now? Let's go here. Since it's right next to it, at least. Getting lots of skill points. Oh god. Let's get a bow. Let's get a different bow out. Let's use this one. We haven't used this in a while. That was not a good line read, my dude. Wenja! Hulk! Now, let's just start. Does this not count as burning it? I guess. I suppose that could be a problem. Oh gracious, my PC's overheating. I mean, it'll probably be fine. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Pile that on there. Anyway, yeah, I, I got interested in Fight Night when I first saw Matt McMuscles retweet it, um, yonks ago. And it really reminded me of Kingsfield, so I'm- oh god! That was a big screen tear. Um... Holy shit, there's a lot of you guys. Pardon me, everyone. Just be out of your way.
We cool? We're cool. All right. I wonder how many of these there are. This is that camp that was really hard to capture, wasn't it? Funny how times fly. Oh shit, I just realized I might actually run out of space. I've got more heavy games installed on here than I normally do. Um, and I haven't cleaned my PC out of videos that I've recorded, so... Got some big hefty chonkers on this one. Fire up the old drive pretty soon. I swear, like, I'm gonna get the ability to use, like, one... I'm, I'm probably gonna go through, like, one hard drive a year. I've legitimately already filled up, like, two terabytes of hard drive just with all the videos I've made. Because I want to have them on record just in case. Because I know that YouTube's a little weird. So, like, in case I need to make a spare channel or in case I want to um, put them up on a different site. Like, I know that some people started to, like, try to transfer to Vimeo when YouTube started getting a little spotty. But, like, I don't really have too much interest in that. But, like, it would be useful you know, just get the same amount of stuff or same amount of work. Just have to upload it all again. And just get more content and more views out of it. Pardon me, everyone. I don't feel like I'm any closer to this fucking thing. So yeah, if usual, if uh if there's a sharp cutoff in the middle of an episode, it's because I filled up my hard drive for the ninth time since I got this computer. Still can't read Black Rock without thinking of the anime. That anime was like... <laughs> I feel like I do a lot of these um, when I'm playing Far Cry just because I don't have very much to talk about. Um, I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm... I'm the embodification of like getting on Wikipedia and just going from topic to topic or TV tropes or something, you know. But Black Rock Shooter was this, um, I believe it started as like a video for Hatsune Miku. Um, about like a parallel world where like, okay, there's a schoolgirl with black hair, right? In a parallel world, she and all of her friends are, like, big warriors with guns and stuff. They fight monsters and things. That was basically the gist of the music video. And it got turned into a short anime, and then, like... I th like, I think it was turned into, like, a proper short. And then, like, a short anime. Like a little one-season dealie. Cut Mafaf Cave. Oh man, I cut my faf. <laughs> Comedy. Oh man, I missed the chance to do a chain takedown. Damn. Anyway, because I'm a cursed being with cursed lives, I can't can't see Black Rock without thinking of Black Rock Shooter. I don't know why it was called Black Rock Shooter, or at least I don't remember. This is one of those topics that I actually am not very versed about. You know, middle grade anime. Though it's cool that it was originally like essentially a fan project that got turned into something. I'm always supportive of those barring a few instances like Hunt Down the Freeman. Because like if you're a fan of something it's basically the ultimate dream to get your fan fiction made into something cool. Oh that feels so good. Having a high jump in a game where there's also a death from above is so awesome. I fucking love that shit. You can tell by my fervent language.
Yeah. Sometimes, though, there's a reason that the fans are fans and that the people who make the game are the ones who make the game. Or anything. I really love using uh, the like post takedown camera, I guess, to like scout and scope after. Like, did anyone see that? Crunch. Ow. I don't have any proof of this, but I feel like Borderlands has had that happen multiple times. Like, originally Borderlands was just Borderlands 1, and that was a thing that Gearbox threw together. Now we run. Nice. Pardon me, everyone. I'll just be uh, out of your way. But yeah, I feel like with Borderlands 2, like getting Randy... Or what's his name? Not Randy Pitchford. Different kit. Um, um, the author. He's got like a weird Syscon thing going on. Hey, Ash, what you playing? Ashley something. Come on, she's like an anime voice actor now, and her brother's like just stuck being like a weird off-brand like... What is his name? There we go. Come on, how can you be putting out the fire? You're standing in water, dog. Oh, did I just not hear... Did I not study that cave painting earlier? Was that the problem? Because if so, my bad. Whoops. Anthony Birch. <laughs> that's, that's his name. Yes. I feel like the deal was... Borderlands 1 was a production of just Gearbox. And then Borderlands 2 was made by Anthony Birch, who was a fan of Borderlands. And then Borderlands 3 took so long to come out. That the people who made Borderlands 3 were actually just fans of 2. Might be the case for the pre-sequel, but considering how like... I don't know, the pre-sequel doesn't feel like the same... I mean, it feels a lot like Borderlands 2, but that's not what I mean. How many skills of it? Jeez, oh, Pete. Cash money, man. Animal skins, you say, like badger skins? We doing this thing? All bears in the area. Are you nuts? Holy. They're not kidding. All right, I'm thinking high DPS, so clubs. And of course they're brown bears, so I'm not even getting cave bear skins, the skins that I need. Unless like a cave bear is gonna show up as like a boss bear. On the one hand, sometimes I feel as though people should give up if the sequel just takes too long. Oh, okay, yeah, so we are, huh? Well, hmm, fun. <laughs> On the 
on the one hand, I feel like some people should give up if the sequel takes too long. Because, like, how is... Is Borderlands 3 really going to be as, as good as 2 was with all that time you waited? And, like, it could be. You never know. Because it really could be. But, like, man... At this point, the anticipation is higher than the game could ever live up to. But on the other hand, sometimes, like, you wait so long for a sequel that the game is, like... No one even thought that there would be a sequel. Like, they didn't even think that that was in the cards. Sorry, let me turn this down. Oop, 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 oop. Like, uh... Oh, I actually just only turned down my headphones, not the actual game. Oopsies. Me. Oh, shit. I just hit F9, which is quick save. Or quick load, rather. Because I didn't... Damn it. That was stupid. Alright, time to kill more bears. That's what I get for trying to fix things. Is it function F9? Yes, it is. Jesus, I'm stupid. Also, I'm not sure if that actually helped the audio. It didn't. So it's just as loud for you as it was earlier. And I've done nothing. Besides waste time. Turn that back up, huh? What am I waiting on? Cave bear pelts, right? Yeah, these things. Cool. Oh, Jesus. That just blew out my eardrums because I fixed it <laughs> when I was in the menu. God, this is embarrassing. Because, like, if, if, I, if someone says sequel gap, the thing that comes to mind is not, like, the 13 years between Half-Life 2 Episode 2 and Half-Life Alex, Or, like, the 10 years between Borderlands 2 and 3. Or even, because this one's uh, particularly close to me. The uh, 11 years in between Devil May Cry 4 and 5. I think of the gigantic gap between the two Kid Icarus games. Even though I believe they're technically more Kid Icarus games. Because for reference, Kid Icarus 1 came out on the NES. Kid Icarus Uprising came out on the 3DS. So there was like, what, 30 years in between those two? Now that's a jump in sequels. Bite fish skins. I have bite fish skins. But the thing is, at, at that point, people were like, man, I don't even know if they're like, people d never even believed that there would be a sequel to Kid Icarus. But like that, uh, that world's like use of Greek mythology and uh, the gameplay elements just translated into such a nice package with the the way that the 3DS would handle it that like it was it ended up being really good and Kid Icarus Uprising is good it's very good however um, I have carpal tunnel syndrome so I can't actually play that game that game is a nightmare on the wrists and I wish that that wasn't the case but unfortunately that's where we are Like, that game is absolute butts to nuts on the wrist. So I can't play it. Escort. Oh, God, I don't want to do that. Well, I'll do that off camera. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Far Cry Primal. I think we're on, like, episode 12 now. I'll see you guys next time, though. Have a good day. Bye.